Hi students, it's Miss Bowley here. So today we're going to be creating a picture or a composition using a word as our inspiration. So as you've seen in the slideshow, we can use shapes and colors to communicate um, an idea or a word. So the word that I'm going to be using today is sunny. So I'm gonna to try to use my cut up shapes that I created a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna to try to create the feeling of sunny um, and warmth using just these shapes. And I've also grabbed some other stuff. I grabbed some fabric, stri fabric scraps. Um, and if you have other things that are shapes that you wanted to use in your composition or your picture, you are welcome to do that. So, I guess I could start, so I I wanted to create like a dry, kind of like brownish landscape. When I thought of sunny, I thought of desert. So I was thinking I could maybe make some land. Doesn't need to be a landscape though. It could be really any anything that comes to your mind when you think of sunny. All right, and then I, I have this circle, which is like perfect for a sun. Um, remember, we don't necessarily need to just make a sun to represent sunny. We can represent the feeling of sunniness. But I think for this one, I feel like it makes a lot of sense to show. So remember, the thing that we're kind of trying to focus on is overlapping. Right? So I can make my sun, my sunshine overlap with the land and I can make these sun's rays overlap with the ball in the middle or I could make them overlap with the orange ball and go under the yellow one. So I think it's a great idea to experiment and try out some different possibilities. We're trying our best to use the shapes that we already have, but I I think it's okay if you need to, if you really need something, you could cut uh, another one if you like, or you could just find a different material to use. Just like I just cut a new um, sun's rays. All right, so there we go. Oh, actually here, I've got a little rainbow scrap of paper. So maybe I could, or I mean a rainbow scrap of fabric. Maybe I could somehow include that. Yeah, I could go like, kind of like weave it through. Um, as you can also see, we are not gluing this stuff down. So we're only doing a quick little arrangement of objects or of, of shapes. We're not gonna glue them down. Okay, so once you've got something that you're happy with, you can snap a picture and you can keep doing different word prompts each day. And it'll help us with practicing um, our composition skills, so arranging shapes on a paper. And it'll also help us learn about overlapping shapes to create depth on our page. Have fun!